Hello you all, this is Ankur here and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Technical Analysis, The Unbiased View. So today we are going to discuss three index. One is Nifty 50 futures, other is Bank Nifty futures and the third one today also we are going to discuss Nifty 500, the broader market. There is some interesting development happened over there. Other than this, we are going to discuss four stocks, Bajaj Finance, Apollo Hospital, Ashok Leyland and Reliance Industries. So quickly start the video with Nifty 50 futures chart. This is futures chart in front of you. And as we know that on Friday, day before yesterday, we had seen a 230 points upward rally from low to high, right? And what I have mentioned in my previous week's video that the resistance for the Nifty was 15,029. So Nifty happened to breach that and much closed much above it. As of now, with respect to the Friday's closing and the Friday's price action, we have got three supports and two resistance level. Now the three supports and those two resistance level are clearly mentioned on the screen in the form of text. You can take a screenshot of it. However, I still repeat it. The resistance now would be the first resistance would be 15,262 and the second resistance would be 15,325. The first resistance would be 15,262 and the second resistance would be 15,325. Where Nifty closed on Friday, it closed on 15,206, right? So the first resistance is quite close to it, uh, 50 points, 55 points. So let's see uh, whether Nifty reverse from there or not because Nifty is also having a long term trend line, resistance trend line. Uh, let's see whether it, it is able to break that or not. Correct. The supports. Now, this is crucial for us. The support, immediate support would be 15,157 and 15,078. Correct. So, Nifty closed at 15,206 and these levels will be more crucial with respect to this current expiry. Correct which would be, I guess, it will, it will be a monthly expiry also. The third support for Nifty 50 futures is 14,988. And I think Nifty will not break 14,988 in very short term. And it will be a very, very crucial support for next coming series also. So this was the uh, levels and uh, my view on Nifty 50. Let's jump on Bank Nifty futures chart. Let's see what's happening over there. So this is the current month bank nifty chart. So there are two things. One, as you can see, something is mentioned over here. Correct this part. If you have seen my previous video, uh, I have clearly mentioned the resistance for the bank nifty would be 34,386 and 34,851 and support 33,585. If you have seen my previous video, I have clearly said that the Nifty might come down to fill the gap. The gap was around 400 points. So Nif Bank Nifty came, it came down, it filled the gap. And if you see the uh, Friday's price action clearly, Nifty, Bank Nifty happened to make a low of 33,589. And my support was 33,585, exactly there. Correct. And again, Nifty, Bank Nifty happened to make 30 happened to make a high of 34,855 and my second resistance was 34,851 so you see this is the magic of levels exactly bang on there the support and the resistance it took that support and it didn't fell down and it took the resistance and it stopped there correct now what's next with respect to the coming expiry right uh, which is Thursday the new support will be 34,386, the same uh, level which was a resistance for us with respect to the previous week. Now, when it comes to current expiry, this expiry, weekly expiry or monthly expiry, the same previous week resistance will become a act as a support now. Now, what will be the new resistance? The new resistance for this expiry, in my view, would be 35,452. Correct. And... 33,585 will become a very, very strong support for Bank Nifty, not for this series, the leftover, even for the next month. So what support we have seen in Nifty, which was 14,988, 
and in bank nifty 33,585 both these levels is a make or break either the market will remain above this or if in case market break this level then again we can see a severe cut however in bank nifty the bank nifty has crossed the gan bar three the gan wave three bar one very comfortably correct so in my view 34386 there will be a very watchful level and it might take support from there and again reverse right now i have said that we'll also have a look at nifty 500 what's happening in the broader market right nifty 500 one second and let me make it this as a weekly chart for you so if you see at nifty 500 it gave a all time high high closing all time high closing which was 12,917 this is nifty 500 now if you see nifty 500 how many sectors you have you have automobile cement chemical construction consumer good fertilizers right consumer services financial health it media whatnot oil gas pharma everything so there are 500 you should go and uh, google it and see how many uh, what all stocks are there in nifty 500 these are nifty 500 uh, stocks so in a broader market we may see that nifty and nifty uh, bank nifty are still not uh, touched the uh, uh, life high however if you see the broader market nifty 500 they, it has created a life high and closed on a life high this is the standard deviation three the regression channel which you're seeing in the color zone this color zone so it has exactly taken the uh, stop at the resistance so it will be very 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 interesting to see if nifty 500 happened to close above 12,917, it may be a huge re-rating in the market, right? Huge re-rating in the market. So all the pessimism uh, perhaps will go away. Now coming to the stocks now very quickly, let's discuss, well, let's start the first stock, which is Bajaj Finance. Now Bajaj Finance, why I have chosen is that not with respect to any level and all that. See, Bajaj Finance has created a very bullish pattern flag and pull. And it is feeling a resistance of the channel, parallel channel, and the trend line, resistant trend line, which is occurring uh, from the starting point of the previous stop, right? So keep an eye on uh, Bajaj Finance. If Bajaj Finance happened to cross above 5,700, correct? Uh, it may be again a good re rating candidate for a long term, right? It may happen that it may come down and check this channel. It may take a support again up to 5,200 or 5,300, but we are not bothered about the down levels as of now in Bajaj Finance. What we are bothered about, why we are discussing this pattern, because whenever you see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, weekly, whenever you see Bajaj Finance closing above 5,700, above 5,695, right? It can be a next day could be a or next few days could be a a very bullish uptrend in the Bajaj Finance. So keep an eye, you can play in the call option if not on the equity part. The next option, uh, sorry, the next stock would be Apollo Hospital. Now here, uh, with respect to Apollo Hospital, I have a view on a, a trading uh, uh, side that we can buy Apollo Hospital, we can buy Apollo Hospital above 3246, 3, right? And we can sell it below when it goes down below 3255, 3255. Now, you know, I've been repeating continuously how to trade. This is the uh, level. Now, consider that this is 32,046. So, either 3 minute or 5 minute candle. Any closing above 3246, go for buy. Right? This would be the intraday. And Similarly, if this is 3, 2, 5, 5, either 3 minutes or 5 minutes, any closing below this, go for a short, right? So that is a view with respect to Apollo Hospital because it is settling on a regression channel. It is neither a support nor a resistance. It is on a regression band. So... Uh, whenever it comes on a stocks comes to the regression band a very one-way kind of a move happens, right? So let's see. Let's keep an eye on the Apollo hospital 
the third stock would be ashok leland and these stocks what i've discussed bajaj finance uh, uh, apollo hospital and ashok leland what i'm discussing these all are cash equity stocks there is not future stock now ashok leland in my view is feeling a tough resistance with respect to the intersection and the uh, standard deviation trend lines and uh, in my view we should sell ashok leland when it goes below 125 and a very interesting move in ashok leland could be if it closes above 127 correct or it closes at 127 then we can see a very higher targets maybe up to 134 in the same week in ashok leland however the pattern suggests that there is a regression intersection resistance in ashok leland somewhere here let me just eclipse it for you at this point i'm talking with respect to the friday's closing and if it goes below 125 we should attempt sell and if it closes below 125 closes below 123 then the targets could be 119 120 likewise right so this was my view with respect to ashok leland however just keep an eye if it closes above 126 or at 127 then with stop loss of 125 on a weekly basis we can attempt for the targets of 125 sorry 134 that would be the higher targets for us the last but not the least is reliance industries so if you have seen my video on reliance industries i have made a exclusive video dedicated only to this stock and i have uh, discussed all the channels uh, a different different channels and now uh, exactly what has happened in uh, reliance is same what i have discussed in that channel that it has shifted its base from 1898 1960 was the channel 1 now it has shifted its base to channel 2 now 1960 is acting as a support and 2027 is acting as a resistance so it is from last 3 4 days it is act, trading in the same channel right so this is a very perfect behavior of the stock if you are able to spot such kind of behaviors it is very easy to make money in these kind of stocks right so what we have to see now on monday or tuesday if reliance is closing above 2027 we can attempt btst or if it is going up to 2027 or higher than that on a but on a closing basis you see a rejection shadow and it is closing below that then we will confirm it is confirming that that 2027 is still acting as a resistance and we can go for a stbt correct so this is with respect to the reliance so the four stocks which we have discussed today's in today's video was Bajaj Finance, Apollo Hospital, Ashok Leyland, Reliance Industries, and the three index. What we have discussed was Nifty 50, Bank Nifty, and Nifty 500. We saw that it gave a lifetime closing. I would request all of you to go and see the sectors and the stocks in Nifty 500. And there is a huge re-rating happening in a broader market. Correct. Don't see that that Nifty and Bank Nifty is still away from the life high, but on a broader market, it's very strong. It has touched that regression band. Let's see. whether it is able to close above it or not whether it will be a breakout closing follow breakout closing or it will take a resistance and there will be little cool off so thank you guys uh, this was my view uh, with respect to this coming week and keep watching keep sharing keep supporting bye bye